So as you can see, like we have like a small pavement here, but you have to mind your head. Yeah, it's very unique. It is very unique. It has two bits, or actually you can say three. This is one, one in the middle, and one on the left. So, uh, is this part here man-made? This looks uh, like... Yeah, this is definitely man-made. Yeah. But here you can see the stalactites and the stalactites. All of that is natural. And you yeah. can see all the glitter also. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Ai and Argiri. Okay, maybe this is the uh, direction to the restaurants. One can hope. It's a bit more of a town than I expected. What a peaceful place to live. I'm gonna bet there's a restaurant at the end of the road by the beach. That's a fairly safe bet, yep. So I have a Greek salad. Tzatziki, that is another one of my favorite words. And cherry juice that is really good. And some bread, and I'm waiting for some chicken souvlaki. And here is the souvlaki. Wow, it's a lot of food. So chicken, french fries, and he didn't mention whatever this is that comes with it. Can't tell if it's like couscous and vegetables, tomatoes. Let's give it a try, see what it tastes like. <laughs> It's cold. I'm not sure, maybe that's quinoa? I know, I know that very sweet. You are very sweet And me, I am It's pretty good, not uh, amazing. I think it would be better warm. Can't go wrong with fries. And the meat of the matter. Yeah, that is very tasty and hot. So it is full on raining out there. But, look at the forecast. It's showing that it's nice and sunny right now, so... They are just way off their game. <laughs> On a nice sunny day, this would be ultimate. So, I'm going to a cave with Nicholas. Hello, hello Gabriel. Do you also go by Nico then or? Nico or okay. Daskalo, Daskalo, I'm Daskalo as how I am on Instagram. Okay, uh, yeah. he just recognized me at the uh, restaurant oh, there nice. just as I was finishing. From Athens, 90 countries, how many Greek islands? Plenty, more than 100. 
More than a hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And, I, and actually, when I was going to the the Decanese, how I saw some of the videos and like I saw some of the locations you also went there. Okay. So that was quite cool. So uh, this is my fortieth Greek island, um, and so part of the video was uh, me saying every island that I've been to. Okay. So this doing is my a, best by memory. <laughs> So this is your 40th, and are you going to more uh, islands of the Argos Ironic? So I was on Hydra before this. Yes. And then Aegina? tomorrow... Have you been to Aegina? I was in Aegina twice, uh, 2009, and then I think two years ago. Okay. And then I went to Agis Street. Agis Street is lovely. And then tomorrow I'm actually going back to Hydra. Uh-huh. Because I didn't see the best part of the island. I went the, uh, I forget, like, southwest. Anyways, from the town, you've been there? I have been there many times. Yes. Yeah. Basically, I made two videos, and in one, I ended up where the sewage is going into the water. Yes. And the next one, I ended up at the dump. Okay. So, I didn't really show the best, uh, showed some cool stuff uh, along the ways, but uh, I didn't go the other way, which seems to be the main destination for the best beaches and things. So, I'm going to go back and just stop for the day, yeah. and then Poros from there. For the first time in Poros? Yes. Okay, you will love Poros. All right. So, you might want to take this one, the cave. Okay. So, let me let me tell you something in the camera. So, Great. there are actually two ways to go to the cave. So, you just walk by Aginagi and you go by the end and you walk, and there is a little hole and you go under, or you can either swim from the beach, or you can swim from where we reach, and you can go from the outside of the cave inside. We'll show you. Very interesting, huh? Yes. Okay. So I'd seen on the map something about a cave, but I didn't know about it or if it was worth visiting. I will tell and you. I was going to just kind of abandon plan because of the weather, but now fortunately we have some sunshine coming back. The so windows, the little windows. Perfect timing, yeah. My ex-girlfriend used to be from this island and I've been here since oh, okay. 15 years ago when I was 18 years old. Uh huh. And I'm back now with my aunt from the States. She's from... from uh, Oregon, Yeah, so Florida. you mentioned... You mean she's from Hawaii originally or she's no, like she's, Greek? She's Greek, brought up in Florida. And now she lives with her grandson in Hawaii. In, I in see. actually Kauai, in the island Kauai. That's my favorite island. Yeah. <laughs> I lived there twice. Oh, really? Yeah. What were you doing in Mumbai for three years? I just said... You um, just kind of ended up there no, no, and stayed? No, or? I'm, I'm a dietitian, so I was doing diet and personal training for Bollywood actors. Oh, really? Cool. This is how it, Did you know that I was in a Bollywood movie? Uh, no, but I have been to also. To okay. <laughs> On my first trip in 1999, yes? I was in Mumbai and they were looking for extras. They put posters up on some of the hotels and hostels. And uh, yeah, so I was in this movie called Shikari, Shikari yeah. which came out in 2000. Actually, it's a famous movie. Yeah. I'm just in the background in one scene. But the main guy, Johnny Lever, walks right in front of me. Okay. Like two feet in front of me. That's cool. So we have arrived now. So, the entry is over there behind this rock. Ah, okay. This rock used to be up and fallen. Ah, okay. So, you have to go down the oh, stairs. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can see it. There is an arrow On the there. stairs there. And also cave, written by this faded, fainted. Yeah. Yeah. So, you just kind of go down through go the rocks or something. Down and around. But it's a lovely place. Okay. And the other option is you can just swim and this is the other Ah, entry I see. Of... And then you can kind of swim through. Exactly. So that looks fun. You, you can either swim from here or from the beach, which is about 15-20 minutes swim, if yeah. longer. And uh, you're right here. I will, I will leave my bank here. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the thing. same. Time to take the jacket off now that it's warming up. So we just go down those stairs. And it used to be an entry properly. You can see underneath here are the old stairs. But this rock fall down and is blocking now the entry. But still you can see they have the arrow and the cave written. And that's the passage, so I'm going inside right now. There are two, two steps and you're in, it's very simple. And voila, we're in the cave. Here you go, cool. And now you're coming inside. Oh man, it's lovely. Yeah, very cool. And Gabriel is inside. So you grab that. Okay. Uh, mind your head. Yeah. You have to be bending all the time, okay? Okay, let me uh, get my phone oh. and turn on the light. Yes. All right. So over here, there is a weird noise. 
Like somebody's breathing, like a person is here. Yeah, there's a little hole there. Yes. So. You... Can you hear? Yeah. It's... When I was alone here the first time, I got mad because like, what is this? Like somebody here, I was searching and then uh, I just realized that. And look how beautiful now the reflection of the water is coming. Yeah, inside. swimming in here is the way to go, it looks like. Both, so, uh, both ways. So, it goes back a good ways. So right now, just mind your head, like you have to go very yeah. low. So as you can see, like you have like a small pavement here, but you have to mind your head. Yeah, it's very unique. It is very unique. And it has two bits, or actually you can say three. This is one, one in the middle, and one on the left. So, uh, is this part here man-made? This looks like... Yeah, this is definitely man-made. Yeah. But here you can see the stalagmites and the stalactites. All of that is natural. And you yeah. can see all the glitter also. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Okay. So why do you think that was man-made? What was the reason? Why would they make that? Okay, I believe this is man-made for people to come easily here now. Oh, maybe just for tourists, you mean, to for enter tourists, it? No. Ah, okay. But before, this cave used to be for pirates. Yeah, you can imagine. It's the perfect uh, place to hide the booty. <laughs> and here you see, it's a sandy beach. You can like chill here, listen to the calm water. It's a lovely place to be. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it's like really nice soft sand. And right here from the stalagmites to the stalagmites, you can see like there are like a few little pools. Small ones. Okay, yeah. There's one, two, here and the big one is right here. You can hear more people are coming, but it's okay. Yeah. And this is the the, the next beach. This is the second beach, but it's very high. Like yeah, it's much stand, bigger. You can stand tall, yes. And you can see the sun, sun beach. And also during during the the mating season of the seals. When they want to have babies, they come here and they, you know, they stay safer here. The okay. Fields. This type of, of caves. Wow, yeah, it is really... It's something, eh? Really interesting. It would be kind of fun to have like a picnic in the dark or something like that, or, or come yeah, back here with, fire, yeah. with your girlfriend and some beers or whatever. Yeah, and... I agree. You can see here, can you see here? The small stalagmites. Yep, they're forming. They're forming, yeah. Come back in uh, 10,000 years and exactly. maybe... Exactly. One millimeter per year. Okay. It's insane. That's why you should never touch them. You should never destroy caves. Yeah. Never. So that means in 1,000 years they're one centimeter, centimeter longer? Exactly. That's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Come back in 1,000 years yeah, and they so will be this extends half an inch longer. Tiny, yeah, it's like 1,000 years old. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. That is wild. That's yeah, geology is... for you. And this is the one, like you can see all those color formation here. Mm-hmm. It's stunning. Yes, lots of little stalactites. A change in the weather, fortunately. So uh, Nicholas is going to a beach that is in the direction of where I'm going. So we're going to stop there. Alrighty. Say it again. Welcome to Chilokeriza Beach. Chilokeriza. It's K S Chilokeriza. 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 Yeah. All right. Yes. That is a wild one. I like the Greek words though. How they're they have so many K's and S's and X. So yeah, this is my mom's favorite. I have I have been again ages ago. Oh yeah, I just want to take a, like a one drone shot, one video, and then I'll be crack on. <laughs> but now, you know, because they're not the really rain, set up for the uh, tourist no, season yet. I think yeah. because of the rain, possibly. No, actually, you're right. Yeah, no, not very. Because it looks like they really haven't, uh, no, haven't kind of gotten it ready at all. No, nothing. Yeah. Rough, rough. <laughs> yeah. And here we are in Villa Teresa. Again, again with Gabriel. And there is a. And, and name of these birds. In Greek is Ortiki. 
or Tiki bird. Is it like a quail? Do you know a quail? Yes, it's a quail. It is a kind it's, of quail? No, it's okay. A quail. Yeah, okay, yeah. They look similar, but uh, different colors. We have them in California, but they're quite different looking. Yeah. They're smaller and uh, just different colored. Yeah, that is a, uh, yeah, a nice looking spot to swim. So we have this little islet off the, basically the south end of the island. We're getting close to full circle back to the main town. Nicholas went the other direction, up north to those beaches where I went hiking. That is a lovely looking bay there, wow. I'm glad at least we got a little sunnier weather at the end here. Beautiful countryside here. 